What's going on guys, Bolt Matrix here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Combiner Wars Voyager Class Optimus Prime. Now, Optimus Prime is a redo, repaint with a new head of Motormaster from the same line. Prime got released first, Motormaster will be coming in Wave 2. Their transformations, from what I can tell, are going to be identical, as they are the same figures. Overall, the robot mode is quite nice. Main colors are blue, red, silver, with minor highlights of yellow and gold here and there. Overall, it's not a bad looking robot mode. I do like it a bit. It comes with two guns. One is shaped after his normal or his classic cannon, and then the other is just another gun. So the gimmick with these are they are supposed to combine into a much larger cannon for his combined mode, but they both look like they are supposed to combine like this to form some kind of like engine component, though they don't stick together. I wish they just kind of slid together so you could have your own engine gun here. The we'll revisit this when we get him transformed. Posability for the figure is pretty good. Ratchets in the hips, bends at the knee. Not much flexibility, if any, in the feet. Arms are very tight swivels in the arms. Swivels underneath that for horizontal movement. 90 degree bend in the fists. Fists do not rotate. Head is on a horribly limited ball joint. Overall, though, it's not a bad looking figure. It's a nice chunky prime, which I do approve of. I like the uh, more chunkier primes. Head sculpt is very well done, but the paint is even better. I really do like the paint that Hasbro has been applying to these figures. Very well done, guys. Prime's transformation is a little bit different than what Prime's normal transformation is. So let's go ahead and get into it. Prime's new alt mode is that of a big red truck, and I like it a lot. It's a looks definitely looks like a sleeper cab of some sort. It just looks beefy, gnar, beefy, burly, and pretty freaking awesome. So kudos, I like this mode a lot. Wish it had a little bit more paint, but nothing I can't fix on my own. Guns are easily stored in the back, and overall, it's just a solid little truck mode. Overall, this Prime figure is pretty. Cool. I like it. I think it's really nifty. And it kind of makes me think of the. It kind of makes me think of what I, as a kid, always thought G2 Prime was going to be. And I'm not talking about what we got, which was Laser Optimus, but I'm talking about the form Optimus Prime was given at the end of the Transformers Generation 2 comic books. It's just beefy and burly and just really, really wide shouldered. That's kind of what I figured. But that's kind of what I think of when I look at this guy. Now, he also does combine with the other uh, Combiner Wars figures. So let's go ahead and get him into that. Start off with, we'll fold up the head like we did for the transformation. Take the arms, and there are actual little grooves here. So we need to turn the arms around so that this single peg points forward, and then fold it up and peg it into the groove in the back of the arm. And I always end up popping off the panel here. No big deal, just an annoyance that I end up doing every time I transform him. And the groove I'm talking about is right there on the inside of the hinge. Now that the arms are in place, take the entire top of the torso and spin it 180 degrees. Take the legs and turn them so that these silver bits are pointing forward. Flip the silver bits up along towards the knees. Then put the legs out and bow them like you were going to make an original G1 combiner. Like that. Bring the well, this bit down here. When you push that up, it'll open up the section in the back, and that'll allow you to fold up his head. 
and then flip these fists back, and that will expose the combiner ports. And then get to combining. And here we have the fully combined Optimus mode. For size comparison, here is MP10 Prime. It's just a hair bigger. I will be fully... I will fully admit I do not like this mode or this version nearly as much as I like Superion. Superion is by far a better combiner. And that simply has to do with the lack of paint. I mean, there's no paint going on in here. It's all solid colors. If there was some more paint in there, it would be much, much better. Now, for those of you who may notice, there are two little pegs here. That is for the Menasaur mode, or there's a, another Legends class figure called Blackjack that is supposed to plug in there in car mode. So it will, you know, give him a little bit more of a chest. I've been looking around and trying to find a Legends class figure that would work there, but I haven't really found anything that would fit the bill. I mean, here's Tailgate. That doesn't work. Let's try, uh, let's see if we can make Bombshell work. Bombshell works, sort of. Wind Charger works precariously. Thundercracker works a little bit. Skids can be made to work. Ah, screw it, nothing really works. I get what they're going with this homage to Transformers Energon Prime, but I don't think it works at all. In fact, I like if I display him, I just keep the chest closed. I think that works a lot better than the chest open. Now, if it was painted better, or if it was painted like some guys out in uh, Japan and China have painted it, it would work a lot better. While he can pose, he doesn't do it nearly as well as Superion does. Things just get in the way. The length of the leg here is much too out of whack, and the proportion is just not the same as Superion. If you have to get a combiner, I think Superion is the way to go right now. Overall, Prime is a fine figure. I don't have any problems recommending him alone, but as a combiner, I don't like him as a combiner core. I get what Pasbro's going for, but I don't think it works. I think it's going to do much better as Menasaur or as Motor Master. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review of Transformers, Combiner Wars, Optimus Prime, Voyager Class. I'm Bolt Matrix, asking you to like, comment, and subscribe, and as usual, I will catch you next time.